Good morning, morning. You're waking up to Yinka and Shayna Marie on Capital Extra, and we are joined by the man and myth and legend. It's Ed Sheeran, everybody. Have I, have I become a myth now? Well, you know, because you went away for so long. We were like, did that happen? Yeah. Or was it a dream? <laughs> and now you're back, so it's like, ah. Oh. Yeah, so we're like, no, 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 no. No, he is on a It's real life, and he's in our studio on yeah. the show. Uh, welcome to Capital Extra. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, uh, what, I, went to the, I went to the England game. Oh, nice. Which was fun. Um... Yeah, and that that was about it actually. <laughs> but you know what? In terms of like this th this situation that we're in, coming off the back of COVID and blah blah blah, that's a big highlight. It's a busy week. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, just getting out and seeing. I saw a mate that I hadn't seen in 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 ages. Yeah, it was good. I, I've also I um, became a father last year, so my yes, like night, did. my nights out are very limited. Uh -huh. <laughs> so when it when it happens, it it's it's fun. Uh, how is daddy life treating you? Do you feel like you were prepared to be someone's father? Yes and no. Nothing really prepares you for it. It's like suddenly like a complete lifestyle change. But I really, really love it. And I, I kind of look back at the person I was like, I don't know, my, my, some of my friends are still in that like party boy world. Yeah. And like I, <laughs> I, sometimes I dip into like their night out and I'm like, ooh, whoa, no. <laughs> Enough for me. This anymore, yeah. <laughs> at home by eight. I feel like you're you're for, for us anyway at Capital Extra. You're the perfect type of celebrity because you keep what's close to you actually close to your chest. It's not the same stakes, but we keep our personal lives quite private mm -hmm. because you know people really opt in. So do you find that a struggle? Yeah, uh, I, for a bit. Yeah, for a bit. And I think I kind of like as I know the Americans say, drunk the Kool Aid. But you know, I, I moved to Los Angeles and I lived. You know, I was hanging out with celebrities. <laughs> doing all that rubbing it, shoulders I, I just got miserable i mean no one no one loves you there it's all it, they, they love what you are but you, they, there's not like true love and so i kind of like when i was like 22 i moved back to my hometown uh, all of my friends live in my hometown my family live nearby my wife but we went, went to school together so oh. I, that's my kind of community and where i feel you know there's there, nothing actually uh penetrates it you know there's every now and then there'll be someone that comes down that i've invited that mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. but like when i want to go to say the brits i'll put on a suit and then i'll enter into celebrity world yeah. and i'll do all of that and then i can go back to to normal life so there's like a real separation and i think i think social media as well being off that is you you know if you're posting pictures of your house or pictures of your kid or pictures of your wife it's instantly letting everyone into your thing yeah um but yeah being off it creates se separation, which uh, makes people think it's a myth, but actually it's just a... It's yeah. Nice. Choice. Well, the one thing everyone's entitled to is an opinion. So the more you show them, the more they're going to have thoughts and feelings about mm -hmm. it. And social media is a place where everyone can voice their opinion so freely. So sometimes being away, yeah. it's a bit like, oh, well, you can't judge me on my, my sofa. And and Fine. also, weirdly, I think if you engage with it, it kind of gives, not, not just opinion, but it gives people carte blanche to kind of want more. So with, like, having a daughter, we put out a statement saying please don't take pictures of her please like respect this and largely people have which has been um which has been good Beautiful. i never understand the pictures of kids though like if 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 you had a baby and someone some stranger came up and tried to take a picture of your baby like it's on it's site. the it's the it's the in baby instagram for me that I, I still quite <laughs> can't quite understand like thanks mum for posting this picture of me it's great yeah imagine they get to like 16 they're like what were you <laughs> Yeah. Why are you doing? But I've got a million followers, so it's great. They were fresh yeah, out so the there's womb. The, there's, the yeah. there's the flip side of that. There's a flip side. But I'd mate, I don't, I don't have a problem with anyone's. It's just for me. Yeah. For me, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want anything to um, enter into my family's of life course. that could be damaging. I've signed up for it. They haven't. Mm. Basically. Uh, let's get into new music then. Uh, Bad Habits, your new single was out today. Why did you feel that now was a good time to come back with a new song? I was always coming out in June, always, always. E ever since, like, I was meant to come out last June mm -hmm. and then uh, my wife told me she was having a baby so I was like, I'll take the year so I'll basically push it and come out this June. But I had a song that was a bit more like depressing, I guess. And then when Boris said 21st of June was happening, I was like, we should put out this tune. Obviously, it hasn't. Thanks, Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Mess with my fans. Didn't he know that Ed Sheeran was releasing? Oh, Boris, get with it. He should have known Mike Skinner was, though. <laughs> I was going to I was going to the gig in Birmingham as well. JK had got me tickets, and I was, oh. going, yeah, I was going to the twenty first of June gig in Birmingham. And alas, I think everyone is a few men. But the video for Bad Habits is pretty cool. We've seen that you've dressed up like a sparkly vampire. Is yeah. what we're coining it at Capital Extra. What was the inspiration for that? Because I kind of got Backstreets back 
meets watermelon sugar vibes from it. Nice. I was going for uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Ooh. meets, um, yeah, I wanted, what, what was it? No, I said, yeah, Buffy the Vampire Slayer meets Clockwork Orange. Oh, like, I'll take ha- it. Having the, like, the kind of squad, but then also we're, like, not... <laughs> not not dangerous. We're just sort of like we're just cool. Yeah, dress dress in pink. Are we, are we don't actually do anything in the video vampire like apart from just go. Rah. Yeah, and like show your, t- your thangs a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it was fun though. Fun. We filmed it in Catford over three days, and uh, it was night shoots. And uh, yeah, they made me like jump off a building there, and I'm terrified of heights. But oh. the director was like this guy Dave Myers who. I really wanted to work with and I just didn't tell him I was scared of heights and then I'm standing <laughs> up there like, oh, I've got to go through with this. <laughs> How long did it take for you to jump off? Oh, a good 20 minutes. <laughs> good 20 minutes. In the end, the stunt guy had to like, he stood push like, you crouch, off. crouch behind me and like help push me off because I was just standing there like, and it wasn't even that high up. It was maybe like 10 meters, but still. <laughs> but it's the fear of the free fall though, isn't it? Like it's the fear of the whoop. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm just so scared. Of, they're like the, the one thing I'm like proper terrified of, yeah. Uh, so, Ed, you started off uh, in more of a rap style and, of course, collaborated with plenty of great rappers. Who are you looking at uh, from the UK at the moment that you think is really, really popping? I think, I'm, I mean, obviously, Tion. Obviously, Tion. Um, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I mean, age, I mean, I love I love AJ. Um, uh who was? I mean, there's lots of uh, there's. I mean, there's lots of new people coming through. I, I like. I, I I hang out quite a lot with um, Jamal Edwards, who who always puts me on new stuff. Um, he loves Quengface as well. <laughs> what a name! And that, have you heard? Uh, have you heard the Back Road G and Quengface tune? No, Just, I haven't. Yeah, it came out like last week. Jamal's like. You put me on it. It's good. I love Back Road G, though. on this. <laughs> hey, like, look at that. You're, you're imparting wisdom onto Cabas Electra. Go on. <laughs> uh, so we've been told that you've got your guitar with you, and I saw you lug it in uh, yeah. as you were walking in. Yeah. And we thought that maybe we could do something fun with you on Cabas okay. Electra. So do you know the new rapper from Brighton called RD? Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Because he is the man of the moment right now. And we had him on the show recently. His latest single, Oliver Twist, is in the top ten. And we thought maybe, potentially, possibly, you can give us a little bit of a show on Capital Extra, if your fingers still work, okay. and give us a rendition, oh, Ed Sheeran, okay. guitar treatment of Oliver Twist. Got a bit of a sore, sore, well, not sore throat. I lost my voice last night. Oh, no. no. Sorry. Shouting at the football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. Don't feel, don't it feel happens. too sorry for me. Right. I just wanted some more Oliver Twist. I think I didn't take risk to get to this sitch, don't take the piss. I'd be scummy, I admit I did what I did, but I deserve this. That's why the bottle got popped at six, and I've hollow one thought by the evening. Used to think I was dreaming. I just wanted some more Oliver Twist. All right, all right. I didn't take risk to get to this <laughs> Just for our listeners, this is the original. What is some more Oliver Twist? Think I didn't take risk to get to this sitch, don't take the piss. Do you know what? Yours might be better, Ed. Oh, what, what's the, what's the, the studio? What do you guys think? Yeah, way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting thumbs up for Ed Sheeran on Capital Extra. Way better. Ed I love, Sheeran. Um, I love how he's like 18 and like smashing it. Like <laughs> I was like 20 when I've had my... F- and I don't think... Yeah, I had my first top 10 at 20. But like even even then, I think if you'd had it at 18, you're like living, living, living life. I can't remember what I was doing at 18. So I, 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 I just think I don't, like... I don't think I can remember no. what I was actually doing. He can't I? remember. He's hung over. Yeah. <laughs> It's true, it's true. <laughs> He's definitely living it, isn't he? <laughs> uh, Ed Sheeran, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining us on The Breakfast Show. Um, have an amazing weekend and thank you again. Yeah, Thanks. welcome back. Thanks for having me. This is great. Ed Sheeran, everybody. Woo!